We now have medical coverage here on Daybreak with Mercy Dr. Barbara Bumberry. Dr. Bumberry, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Good morning. And uh, November is Alzheimer's Awareness Month. We are talking about Alzheimer's and ways to prevent dementia. Dr. Bumberry, how common is Alzheimer's? Uh, for uh, adults 71 and over, you've got about a 14% chance of having Alzheimer's. And by the time you reach the age of 50 or 85, about 50% will have some form of dementia. And right now, there aren't really any medications that will prevent it, maybe slow it down, but we don't have any medications to stop it right now. Okay, so prevention. How do we prevent it? What are some habits we can incorporate? Yeah, there are a number of lifestyle things. Diet. Uh, if you follow the MIND diet, which is kind of a combination of the Mediterranean and the DASH diets that are recommended for heart patients. Uh, if you eat a diet that's high in flavonoids, those are the uh, plant chemicals that give foods a lot of their bright colors. So foods like blueberries, strawberries, apples, oranges, peppers, green, orange, red, yellow. Um, and then t if you drink two to three cups of coffee a day, a study shows that you have a, about a 30% less chance of developing dementia, uh, coffee or tea. If you drink more than that, then you start developing more of the harms. Okay, um, so balance is key there for right. that. Right. Music. Uh, when you listen to music or play an instrument, it activates different parts of the brain, like those responsible for memory, rhythm, uh, language, and then also music can help change our moods. So if you're feeling really anxious, it can calm you down. If you're having a bad day, it can help get you out of that funk. Um, exercise. It's recommended to get 30 minutes five times a week. And what that does is it increases the blood flow to your brain, it decreases inflammation. And if you do mem or exercise, that especially mentally stimulating, that's even more beneficial. So if you do non-boxing or non-contact boxing where you have to memorize sequences, or if you play racket sports, you have to uh, plan for the, the ball being hit towards you, but then you also have to be thinking about where you're gonna hit the ball. Uh, so that's another benefit. Uh, if you're socially, inter uh, socially active, if you have a lot of uh, connections in the community with friends or family, uh, it's estimated that your risk of memory decline is like less than, or 70% less. Whereas if you're in uh, negative or stressful uh, relationships, that's gonna be more harmful. You also had mentioned um, uh, sleep is also very important, staying <laughs> active as well, and mindfulness, maybe some sort of meditation. Yeah, just <laughs> relaxation. Um, kind of, if you're a person that's my way or the highway, you need to be more flexible. Uh, you need to realize there are sometimes other ways of doing the same thing. It doesn't always have to be your way. And if you're more of a cheery, on look on the bright side kind of person, your risk for memory loss is 30% less than if you're somebody that has more of a negative outlook in the world. All right, Dr. Barbara Bumberry with some uh, tips for prevention for dementia and Alzheimer's uh, in November, Alzheimer's Awareness Month. Thank you so much, some great tips. Jesse?